Hello and welcome to the Explain Your 4.0 video course. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the animation options available. Bear in mind that this is just an overview video. I'll be creating separate videos to cover several individual animations. Explain is packed with a ton of animation options to animate text, objects, and pretty much anything you place on the canvas. It explained to you the animation magic happens in the timeline. So please watch the timeline overview video if you haven't yet. First, I want to share with you some animation scenarios that you'll come across in the timeline. In the first scenario, you have a text element with a small gray bar. It means that no animation has been applied. In the second scenario, you have a bigger gray bar and a slider, which means that you have an in animation. In the third scenario, you have two sliders, one for the in animation and one for the out animation. And finally, in the last scenario, you see a gap between these sliders. It means that additional effects have been applied. It could be an animation point or an animation pause, which is what I've applied here. So now let's dive into the animation options. I've got the same demo project open here. I'll create a new scene. And here is the blank canvas. I'll add a text element. And then change the text, font, and then resize the element like so. Now let's close the canvas. And let's add a text animation by dropping this arrow. And then clicking this area. I'll choose Sketch. And then Sketch by Hand. And you'll see a quick preview of the sketch animation. You'll notice the extended gray bar and slider for the entry in the timeline, with which you can control the speed of the animation. The smaller the slider, the faster the animation, and the longer the slider, the slower the animation. If you want to replace this animation, you can click this edit icon and then choose another animation. Let's go with text by letter, choose zoom out. Now let's add an out animation by clicking this area. And let's go with fade and fade out. Let's click this duplicate icon. And you'll see that it has duplicated the text element, including the animations. I'll go to the text tab. And then change the text to supercharge. Next, I'll duplicate the second element again. And I'll change the text to your videos. You'll notice that all the three elements are placed at the start in the timeline. So I'll move the second and third text elements to align them so they animate in a sequence like so. Let's do a quick scene preview to see how the animation came out. In this video, I focused on text elements, but the same principles apply to objects like images, graphics, icons, videos, etc. That being said, some of the animations can only be applied to text. For example, here I have an image in the second scene. If I click the edit button and then go to text by letter, you won't see any animation options here because these animations are specific to text elements. Well, hope this overview video helped you understand the basics of how to use animations and explain to you. Like I said before, Look for separate videos to learn how to use specific animations. I'll see you in the next video.